Hello and welcome to the next vlog. Uh, this one is just about changing the oil uh, in the PRM150 gearbox. Uh, before we start, um, my apologies for the smearing on the camera. Uh, I think I got oil on it, so the whole lot is going to be like this, so I do apologise. Anyway, so looking at this, you just need to take the top off to reveal the dipstick. Okay, so now that's out, that allows air in when we uh, empty the oil. There are quite a lot of people who don't go through this process purely because they can't get at the bottom of the gearbox. Uh, accessibility is too poor. Um, I'm quite fortunate in that I can, but it's not great, as you'll see. Those that can't will just use a Pella pump just to um, pop a tube in the top to suck the oil out rather than going through this process. Anyway, down the bottom there, you, I think you've got a glimpse of the uh, the bolt that we need to take out in order to drain the oil. Again, not very clear, I'm afraid. Unfortunately, um, on uh, narrowboat engines, they have their own little bilge, so you can spill oil uh, and it won't go into the canal, which is uh, a godsend when you're doing this sort of work as you'll see. So that's just to loosen it first before I get the container ready, uh, which as ever is just a tiny bit too small to take all the oil. And here it comes. I've not had to heat the engine up at all uh, because the gearbox doesn't really get too hot. And here's my awful changeover. Uh, quite a lot went in the sump. So you can actually see this next tub float a bit as it goes in. It doesn't take too long to get all the, all the oil out. And there you can see the mess. The next fun bit is uh, pouring it into a container so that you can dispose of it properly. Um, good chance you can pour it on your shoes here. They used oil's evil stuff so I always tend to wear gloves. Okay, that's all out and all uh, dripped and drained. Uh, just had a quick look underneath just to make sure that's all okay. And you see where the, where the bolt was. So we now need to pop that back in carefully. Uh, don't cross thread it, whatever you do. First off, just clean it up. Uh, there's they are magnetic, so they do pick up some bits and pieces uh, in the engine, so it's a good idea just to wipe that all off before you put it back on. And this is the tricky bit. Left a bit, right a bit. <laughs> Both the sump plug and the dipstick 
both have uh, copper washers so you do need to uh, be careful to put those back and don't over tighten paranoid about uh, ripping the threads out So what I tend to use is um, little silver trays that um, are used for um, cooking. So just pop um, some tissue in there and pop it underneath and it makes a really good drip tray so you can immediately see if there's any problems. Dirt cheap and effective. So looking at what I got out, you see it's, it's about just over one and a half litres. It's supposed to be 1.4 litres or two and a half pints. So it's a little bit more, so I just need to pop the same back in. Just take the dipstick out again. I put that back in just so I didn't drop anything in the hole while I was uh, working. But yeah, just pop a funnel in and uh, measure out the oil to go back. On this gearbox with this engine, uh, it's the same oil that the engine uses. So it's a Beta 43 engine on here, so it's just the usual stuff that you'd use on your engine. I know on some of the other gearboxes in the uh, PRM range, I think they use hydraulic fluid, so you just need to check with the manufacturer. These cheap measuring jugs that you can get are uh, godsend for all this so I, I have several sets of these I think you can get them for a few quid uh, but you're yeah, really really useful so that's my one and a half pints initially to go in So I'll chuck that in and then just measure another one point and uh, test then. So that's all in now to uh, check if it's uh, up to the right level. These dipsticks are notoriously difficult to read, uh, so you just wipe it, pop it in. Uh, if you notice that um, tissue on top of the engine there, it's got underneath it, it's got um, grooves which are really handy to use for this. It's a, it was a good tip that someone told me years ago. So pull it out and push down just in one of the grooves and it shows you what, uh, what level you're at. You can't see it from the dipstick itself. That's a little bit low. And like an engine you haven't got to wait too long for it all to flow down so if it, if it is low just pop more in. Just checking again. Yeah, just pop some more in that. You don't need much in there to uh, get it up to the line.
and hopefully that should do it. If you overfill it, you just need to undo the sump plug again, but it's a pain having to do that. So it's easier just to add little and often. Give it another measure. When measuring these, you need to screw them in completely in order to get an accurate mark. And there you go, that's fine. So fire the engine up. Uh, I tend to do forward and reverse just a little bit, just to make sure there's no leaks. And I also put a label on as well, just to uh, remind myself engine hours and the date I did it. There you go, and that's it, all sorted. Thanks for watching once again. Uh, see you on the next vlog. Thank you very much. Bye bye.